Oh, hey, I'm not on here very often, but if we match, message me on Instagram at Kyle Washboard Abs. You've undoubtedly seen bios on Tinder, Bumble, and Grindr that look a little something like that. It's pretty annoying, especially because matching with guys like Kyle Washboard Abs is nothing more than a ploy for him to gain Instagram followers. This is one of the many ways that gay guys use dating applications to build their personal brands and gain influence. While I personally hate matching with profiles like that, because this seems to be their preferred method of matching with people to maximize influence and maximum exposure, I do think there are other more effective ways to leverage untraditional social media platforms like Grindr and Tinder to build a network and gain professional opportunities. So believe it or not, you can use Grindr to make friends. It's actually how I've made most of my gay friends. Similar to Tinder's passport feature, the Grindr map allows you to drop a pin and browse the guys in a given local area. For example, I can think of two friends that now live in Los Angeles who initially reached out to me using the Grindr map from places like Kentucky. Before doing their cross-country move, they sort of surveyed the area to learn about things to do, the types of guys that live there, what the best neighborhoods were, and what the best places to live are. This is a great way to help plan a move, and I think it's incredibly smart to do so, especially when you're in an area like Los Angeles where it seems everyone in their mother has come here to try and build a new life and start fresh. Having friends to land with when you get here is awesome, and Grindr's a great way to do it. Granted, more people use these map-based applications to plan out their hookups and their dates whenever they're going on a trip. But there are really no other platonic friend platforms that have this same functionality. So I think it's an incredibly great way to retrofit the platform for what you need it to do. More so, I've seen tons of guys leveraging the Grindr map to find roommates. That's because the second thing about living in Los Angeles is that the rent is ridiculously expensive. I had the same thought when I first moved to LA. If I need to get a roommate, how will I make sure that he or she is gay friendly? Using the Grindr map, you can eliminate that worry and find people in your local area and where you're looking to move who you know for sure are LGBT friendly. Now, this isn't me endorsing Grindr as a go-to roommate finding application since the platform does have a ton of issues with catfishing and queer baiting. So it's always wise to be extra careful picking a roommate because this is someone you're gonna give access to you while you sleep. But this is something I've noticed to be a pretty unique way of using the Grindr map. Beyond friendships and hookups though, you can also network on Grindr. There is a whole button for it and everything, I swear, go look. And as dubious as it sounds, I've actually made a few mentors on Grindr myself. This is because tools like Grindr and Tinder have powerful filters that, as problematic as they are, are extremely powerful for individuals. Now, the age filter is what I typically use to find friends around my age. You know, people to hit up the bars with and to check out the gay clubs and, and go drinking and hang out. However, I've also used the age filter to find mentors in a variety of subjects. I can actually think of about 10 mentors that I have anywhere between the ages of 35 and 60. Although we initially connected on a dating or hookup app, these connections are non-sexual and entirely platonic. These are men with a collective hundreds of years of experience in entertainment, medical technology, screenwriting, marketing, investments, and I've learned a ton from them over the years. These are all things I'm interested in learning more about and do over cups of coffee, dinner, and glasses of wine. Although Grindr is largely a cesspool with me included, it is one of the few places that gay men can meet and interact with people of all ages, races, and sizes. And it's a place where you already have something in common with everyone there, queerness. That in itself is invaluable because it doesn't matter where you come from, what you do, or how much money you make. 
people on Grindr are fully accessible, and Grindr, as well as the internet, provides a space to connect with people of any age, race, or size. That makes dating apps incredibly powerful social engagement tools. It's for this reason I highly value the forum, despite its many flaws, that Grindr provides gay men of all ages. Our elder gay community is a grossly undertapped resource for young gay men, a resource of knowledge and experience. This is due in part to much of the vanity, over-sexualization, and narcissism within the community, but also due in part to society at large, at least American society in that the spheres of youth and maturity remain largely separate. There are few forums in American society where people of all ages, young and old, can come together to share ideas and even become friends. However, it's on Grindr that people of all ages, races, and sizes can come together and connect. Now, from a networking perspective, I've not only learned a ton from my elder gay mentors, but I've also gained professional opportunities. One of my elder gay friends owns a marketing agency, and when I was in college studying marketing and business analytics, I was in the market for opportunities to gain experience. And he actually put me on board with a project that his marketing organization was doing, a marketing research project for a sports company. Opportunities like these are made possible because of the access that my elder gay friends have to experience, knowledge, and contacts, resources well beyond my own. This is just one example of how mentorship is one of those trickle-down benefits that you can gain from connecting with members of the elder gay community utilizing a platform like Grindr. Many members of our elder gay community want nothing more than to help young gay men along their own paths to success or self-discovery. And having someone like that in your life is incredibly rewarding. Now, given a lot of the stigma in society regarding relationships between younger and older men, I do want to touch upon an extremely powerful grinder filter that I think will lay some of that stigma to rest. That is the looking for filter. If you're seeking a hookup, set your status to right now, but there are also options for chat, friendship, and relationship. You can leverage the looking for filter to ensure that the people you're seeing on your feed and whose feeds you pop up on have the same things and same ideas in mind about what you're doing on the application. Combining the looking for filter with something like the age filter is an incredible way to find elder gay mentors who want nothing more than to just chat, hang out, and make friends. Now, I do want to play devil's advocate for a little bit because what I'm talking about is using Grindr, a hookup application, as a tool for professional networking and that the two don't jive. And your first reaction is probably, huh, using Grindr for friends? Using Grindr for mentors, puh? Please, you are here for the same thing the rest of us are here for. And for the most part, that is true. Mostly anyone, including your ex-boyfriend, who claims to be using Grindr for friends or networking is probably lying. And that's simply because of the nature of the platform. However, my recommendation isn't to log on to Grindr and use it explicitly for networking and professional opportunities. Rather, I recommend that while using Grindr already for hookups and dates and friendships and conversations, that you also remember that it maintains capabilities that allow you to expand your horizons beyond hookups and dates. Remember that you can use these tools in a more productive way, especially if you're going to be spending a ton of time on the application. Now, if you want to gain the most utility out of your profile in terms of being able to talk to people for the sake of hookups, but also for the sake of relationships and networking, your profile needs to be able to speak to all three categories. That is, it may be difficult to navigate a more proper and professional conversation if your profile picture is of your hairy, glistening chest. <laughs> that lends itself more to the hookup category. Similarly, having a photo with your head cropped out kind of makes it difficult for someone to try and date you or befriend you. So I recommend making your profile look something similar to what it looks like on Tinder or Hinge. This is because those kinds of profiles speak to multiple different audiences. And as such, you don't exclude yourself or pigeonhole yourself into only finding hookups with your bare chest, or only finding professional connections with a picture of you in a suit. A more casual profile lends itself to multiple different types of conversations. 
It's simply more universal. Lastly, when I talk about networking and connections, I'm talking more about things that will affect your life a little more immediately. Networking is a long game. However, some users make the mistake of using Tinder to leverage their social media accounts and profiles and grow their following. Although this does really get it in front of many eyes, especially if all you're doing is swiping on guy after guy, it's not effective for building a truly loyal audience that will engage with your content and ultimately buy what you're selling. And that's because when you bait people into becoming members of your audience or in becoming your followers, they are less inclined to really trust you especially since if they're coming from someplace like Tinder or Grindr, chances are they're less interested in your fashion influencer page and more interested in trying to date you. Those are my thoughts on how to more productively misuse Grindr and other dating applications. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my website at thegaypro.com for a ton more content. Thank you so much and talk to you later.